What we're looking at here is a wooden deck surrounded by, or I should say broken up with a small concrete band and then a gravel walkway. Here we can see the wood deck on the left, the concrete looks like about a two foot wide band, and then just to the right of that is gravel, and that's a gravel walkway. Now you can see all of the gravel that is in between the decking boards. It looks like the you can really get a good shot at it right in between the concrete band there and um, the wood. And it really looks like it's accumulated there. And as we go farther in um, the deck, so on the right side of the decking would be the side of the deck that would be closest to the lake and the left side of the deck would be the deck part of the deck that would be closest to the gravel walkway and you can actually see how um, on the right side of the picture it looks like there's there's a very little gravel and debris on that side and then it starts to get a little thicker as we get closer to the gravel um, walkway there and I just kind of want to point this out and these are things we really you know I, sw I mean this is just something I, I've built a lot of things in my life and I get to a certain point where you know I have learned these lessons the hard way myself I am not in no way um, trying to uh, you know make fun of the guy who built this deck or the gravel walkway but I am trying to inform as many people as I possibly can about problems like these. I mean, the debris gets in between the decking, it stays wet for a certain period of time, and starts to rot out the wood deck. This isn't going to be as big of a problem for the decking if you're using some type of a composite or man-made material where water isn't going to affect it as much and when I say that as much, I don't know if that stuff's 100% uh, impervious to water. But at the same time, we would have to worry about any of the structural framing that is holding up the decking um, that would be made out of wood. And any type, don't get confused. I've heard too many people tell me the pressure-treated wood doesn't rot. And uh, I beg to differ, especially in a situation like this. So the reason why I made the video was just to point this out. If you're planning on building a deck and you are going to have some type of a gravel or sand or even a dirt walkway leading up to it, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually realize that something like this could happen. So it's just some, you know, the higher the traffic area, the less maintenance, um, the more of a problem you're going to run into. I mean, if, if this was a high traffic area, which I'd imagine it is, and um, the, you're filling the gravel on a regular basis and the debris, it's just piling up in between these joints, but you're cleaning them out with a vacuum regularly or something, then it's not going to be as big of a deal. But if you aren't, this is when it becomes a big deal. And a lot of times in public parks and stuff like that where they have something like this, um, someone will come in and clean it on a regular basis. But a lot of times you don't see that in a private residence. You know, this, this, the debris collects and I'm not going out there to clean it up. This is the 10th time I've done it this year. You know, okay. Then that's the point I think I'm really trying to make in the video. Either put concrete or continue the deck. Don't have a, a uh, gravel or a dirt or even a sand walkway. You know, have, don't have a walkway where you're going to be tracking stuff onto the deck and it's going to be getting stuck in between the decking.